The largest of Rajan Tech's air coolers in terms of volume is their Tysis Edition CPU cooler. It comes with two standard size 140mm fans to cool the dual tower setup that it has. It certainly has an aggressive looking design, but does it have the cooling performance to match? Let's find out. Before I get into the actual cooling metrics, let's spend some time on the physical features and installation of the Tysis. It's slightly taller and wider than its younger brother, the Aeroboss, with the Tysis coming in at 140mm long by 130mm wide by 166.5mm tall, with it weighing in at a hefty 1.05 kilograms, over 200 grams more than the Aeroboss. The dual full-size 140mm fans slot nicely on the outside and interior of the Tysis to provide sufficient airflow through the cooler. The spots on the Tysis for the included rubber grommets are designed a bit better than on the Aeroboss and Eidos because because you can only insert the grommet three fins deep, which will prevent the damage that will come with the adjusting of the fans that plague the other two coolers. Within the two towers are five 8mm heat pipes, which allow for enough clearance for high profile RAM, such as my G Skill Trident Z memory. Installation of the cooler is simple enough, with there being sufficient mounting mechanisms for nearly every kind of socket and a thorough installation manual to go along with it. In addition to the mounting hardware, fans, fan accessories, and the cooler itself, Rajantech also includes a small packet of thermal base in case you don't have any third-party stuff lying around. Moving on to the actual data regarding the cooling performance of the Tysis. While it may be aggressive in appearance, the Tysis struggled to hold its own in all of my benchmarks against the Airboss as well as the Cooler Master Hyper T4. Even though the Tysis had the lowest ambient temperature in most of my testing with my i7-6700K at 4.4 GHz at stock voltage, the actual results, especially in stress testing, didn't allow for the Tysis to show it was the best cooler out of the bunch. This of course was not true of my Just Cause 3 benchmark where when the CPU wasn't too intensely tasked, the Tysis had the best result by far. Summing up the results, the Tysis seemed to struggle on higher low tasks, including the IDA64 and RG Real Bench stress tests, and my Ashes of the Singularity benchmark. However, when the CPU was asked to do less intense work, such as in Just Cause 3, or otherwise, the dual fan setup allowed for much lower temperatures. It's also important to keep in mind that all of my benchmarks were performed in the suggested fan configuration that Rajantech includes on their installation instructions, with the fans pushing it the air through the cooler rather than pulling it out. And here comes the conclusion. I find it really difficult to recommend picking up the Rajantech Tysis either here in South Africa or in the US on anything outside of aesthetics. With the performance results that I saw, it's just not worth the extra price tag that it comes with. And even if somehow my performance metrics are flawed or something's broken about my cooler and the Tysis can give you a couple of degrees of better cooling on your CPU, the price of $70 in the States or 999 Rand here in SA may get much worse value than its little brother the Aeroboss or even the Hyper T4 or 212 Evo. Granted, the Tysis does give you the flexibility of adding a third fan on the outside of the cooler to likely bring down your temps more, but it likely isn't a benefit that most consumers actually would see any value from. In a normal gaming computer, the Tysis seems like it would be overkill both on your wallet and the space in your system. Sure, there's likely a lot more headroom for anyone who is trying to hit benchmarking records on air cooling, but anyone doing less won't really benefit from the extra cost brought on by the Tysis. And with that conclusion, I'd like to thank Wootware for sponsoring this video on the Rajantech Tysis. You can check them out to pick up any Rajantech related gear, such as the Tysis or the better valued Aeroboss, as well as any other component you might need for your system. With their constantly updated stock and incredible pricing and exceptional customer service team, Wootware has everything you may want for wooting up your PC, especially if you're looking at taking the leap to a GTX 1070 or 1080. So head on over to wootware.co.za to woot up your life. And that wraps it up for this video on the Rajatech Tysis CPU cooler. Like this video if you found it helpful at all, dislike it if you disagree with me or my conclusions, and you can subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech-related content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Cheers.